Hi my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica. This is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic medium, oracle, and prophetess. I hope that everyone is doing amazing today. In fact, I would love to hear how you're doing um, in the comments down below. Um, so you guys have already seen the title of this message. You guys, you guys know why you're here. This is a uh, collective message for divine feminine, divine masculine um, counterparts. And we are focusing on the divine masculine energies um, and seeing kind of what's going on. But I will tell you guys, like I just got off a live uh, here on the channel. Um, if you guys feel called the collective message, I did it all Zodiac like fly through for each sign. And then I also did like a little just collective uh, message from the Pleiadians and from our, our, our light family, etc. Um, it's really good. So if you feel called, go check that out. And thank you for all of your love and support always. Um, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm using uh, the Archetype Oracle by Kim Kranz. The Wild Unknown Archetype Oracle. <laughs> so we're going to get the Archetype Energies. But I will say, I wasn't sure if I was going to do a reading or not because it's just, I'm, you know, it's the end of the day and I'm tired. In fact, hold on one second. I just need to shut the blinds because it's, the sun is starting to set and it's that golden hour and it's shining through and kind of blinding me much better. Okay. So Lady Antebellum, you guys familiar with Lady Antebellum? I haven't heard this song in days and all of a sudden I was connecting, just taking a few minutes to myself and after the live and I was like, okay, spirit, like universe, what is the, what is the message? My spirit guides, right? What is the message for these energies right now? I know I can feel it, but I was seeking something and, um, immediately I heard that song come through by Lady Antebellum and the song is called need you now. I just need you now. It's a quarter after one. I'm a little drunk and I need you now. Okay. Um, said I wouldn't call, but I've lost all control and I need you now. And I don't know why. I don't know. I can't think of like, but it's like, I just need you now. The Divine Masculine is so in their soul energy of of connecting so much to you to this that it is becoming i'm getting unbearable to not be with you physically to not speak to you physically there is a lot of 5d interaction lots of 5d communication a lot of dream energy connecting in the dream state um you know things like that but this is about what goes up must come down. This is about as above, so below. 5D to 3D. And they are doing work in their lives, creating endings, closing out karmic cycles, healing, integrating. Um, what I'm getting is learning from you. Okay, I don't know what this card is, but it just, it kind of flipped, but it didn't, and it wants to come out. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's agape. It's agape love. This is the biggest, most soulful, unconditional. I mean, think of the queen of cups in the tarot, agape. And for me, this is like the chakras. Everything's lined up. Everything's pointing. Okay. For, for this, but they are in alignment. They are in alignment with this love union, with this love energy, with the love frequency, which is the highest and greatest energy of all. They are in love with you. They feel this so strongly, so powerfully. It's agape love. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, er, uh, Eros, Eros is about, you know, passion and, um, you know, sensuality, sexuality, like all these different things, right? The Eros, E-R-O-S. And agape is about soulful love, soulful union, unconditional love. This person is desiring you like they've never desired anything in their life. I just need you now. I just need you now. Um, the first, you know, what I heard was, I'm a, it's a quarter after one. I'm a little drunk and I need you now. 
the ocean, you see. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. They feel this very deeply, very deeply. This is someone who has, they are in a place now of soul alignment with their life and you and this, um, that nothing else will do. Nothing else will do. You know, what I'm getting is like, this is someone who's, they've tried. They've tried forgetting you. They've tried distracting themselves. They've tried dating other people or, or being with other people. Nothing they do, help, they can't forget you. You see, that seed was planted a long time ago. They want to cultivate this energy here. They want to grow this seed with you. This seed was planted a long time ago. The creator. They are creating and painting their, their life as they want to see it and envision it. They want to plant this seed. Yes, there's already a seed that's been planted and cultivated between the two of you guys. Uh, again, with like this beautiful, like all the coloring, it's like the chakra energy again. Again, alignment. Chakras are lit. This person is awoken. They're seeing with the third eye and the heart. Okay, they're no longer seeing with, with, the, with the brain, logic, and, uh, and fear, and ego. They are, they are creating the reality and they're, they're making their life, okay? This is like the magician energy. They're making their life as they want to see it, as they, as they envision it in their third eye, their mind's eye, and in their heart. And when they look out to their future, okay, they see that creation with you. For some of you guys, this person, you know, if it's, right, if your divine masculine is a man and you're a divine feminine woman, this person wants to um, plant a seed with you, meaning they want to have a baby with you. The shaman. <coughs> They're very attracted to your healing energy. Shamans are healers. But I feel that this masculine is getting more in tune with their shamanic energy. The diamond represents, you know, diamonds are made under pressure. Okay, you are a beautiful diamond in their eyes. Diamonds are forever. You are a gem. You're multifaceted, but so are they. They're tuning into their multifaceted nature, their godly energy, their, so their divine sovereign energy. Okay, the snake here, shedding old skins, the, the skulls, they've developed, they've obtained a lot of soulful wisdom and insight. They're seeing things from a different perspective, completely enlightened. Okay, the skulls also represents, it's like Scorpio energy, death and rebirth. They're shedding old skins, they're releasing, they're going through the death cycles, swimming through the underworld so that they can have this rebirth here with you. Okay, they want to lift out this hand to you. Their beautiful diamond, their beautiful gem. Shine bright like a diamond, right? It's like that whole thing. But it's also like this beautiful thing that's being birthed under pressure. They've been under pressure, and now there's this beautiful uh, outcome to what they've been going through. This also, for me, represents like a diamond. Diamonds are forever a diamond ring. Okay, you might be seeing a lot of like ads of like engagement or maybe you're seeing people uh on social media or people around you getting engaged i'm popping the question i'm just getting a lot of that like you're visually seeing it okay so is this masculine and they're this is what they're envisioning this is what they're uh this is what they're feeling for you right now at this time okay alethea Okay, look at this. Black and white, the roses. This is you guys. It's like yin and yang energy. You guys are connected. You guys could be from two different worlds. You could be different. You know, what you do, culture, culture, your culture could be different. Your races could be different. Where you live could be different. How you were raised could be different. Your families could be different. But you guys, even though there's different sides to this coin, okay, you guys are connected. Doesn't matter. The yin and the yang, yeah, this is very, very, very powerful energy of 3D union manifesting. Yeah, because the king is back on his throne. 
The divine masculine is back on their throne. This is like the emperor energy. Strategizing, planning, take, you know, taking action on those plans. This person has a gift. They want to bring forth this sunshine energy. This is enlightenment. This is like sacral chakra energy, root chakra energy, solar plexus chakra energy. The lower chakras are lit up. They are stabilizing in their life. They're making, I'm getting like a turning point, making stable changes. Because again, they want to bring forward a gift, an offer. They want to reach out their hand to you and say, will you take my hand and hold it for the rest of our lives? Because I will never let your hand go. Never again. The king is back on his throne. Remembering his power. Remembering that he's the one in control. He's the creator of his life and destiny. I want to make you my queen. The medallion. Literally, this is like the ace of pentacles energy for me. Look at all the hand. 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 There's a reach out about to happen. They're about to reach out to you. 1111 on the timestamp, right? As I say that, this is the offer. Like I just got done saying, there's a gift, an offer, right? They want to reach out their hand and, and hand you this golden medallion. Ace of Pentacles energy all day, every day with this one right here. Look at all the, the light around it. This offer right here is an offer of enlightenment, meaning the offer coming towards you and the hand that's coming towards you to reach out is enlightened. They've seen the light, okay? They're moving out of the darkness. They're all lit up right here and they know enlightenment, it's all lit up. Like, I know exactly, I'm seeing clearly, I see it, I feel it. I know exactly who and what I want, okay? The storm, okay? Their life has been chaotic. They've been going through the storms of life. They've been going through tower moments, dark night of the soul, very chaotic energy. <clears throat> the universe has set enlightening bolts, but it's also just karmic cycles that were being held onto that were meant to end and be broken apart. And if anyone was holding on to it, that's when the tower moments came in and lightning bolt struck. Okay, so this person is coming in like a flash of lightning, like a storm. Okay, then you have the forest. Togetherness, what I'm getting is like, we are like a family of trees. We're deeply connected, like the root systems beneath, right? They're all connected. If one tree over here dies, all the trees feel it, all of the trees feel it. And what they do is they band together and they send like nutrients or water or things that way to the sick tree or the dying tree to help it. It's actually really beautiful. And this is what I'm getting is like, this person is like, you're like, we belong together. This speaks of past lives, your roots, family, all the things. Extreme strength here too, okay? A lot of happiness uh, floating in. A lot of seeing the light and, you know, I'm, I'm getting like, you know what I'm getting? It's like, um, like you, you're the light of my life, okay? Like I under, like it was you from the beginning. Like I knew you were the one, okay? And now they're seeing, they're seeing um, through their own illusions. They're seeing through um, their own excuses and they're seeing actually why they ran and, and, and whatnot. Like they're having moments of enlightenment. Like the reason why I was avoiding this is because I was still healing from past stuff or I was fearful of abandonment or I f was afraid that, you know, I would like give to this person and that they, they would crush me and break my heart and I couldn't deal with that. Right. So they're, they're seeing a lot. They're seeing a lot that they weren't seeing before. So if this is your message so far, my loves, be sure to absolutely claim the energy. Thank you so much, by the way, for liking and for sharing and for subscribing, all the things. Um, by the way, you guys, be sure to check your notifications for YouTube on like your favorite readers channels and stuff because yeah, a lot of people are not getting their notifications for my channel, for sure, I know that. So, all right, so show me, um, the 3D energy, please, for the divine masculine in their lives at this time. Show me the 3D energy. Three of Cups. <coughs> Excuse me. Like, as soon as I sat down to do this message, again, I started getting all this 
heart chakra pressure and now I'm like coughing and it feels like dense, like heaviness. This is that heart chakra purge, okay? Like they are purging things from their heart that have created heaviness, denseness, um, stagnation within the heart space. I'm getting, I'm going after what I want and I don't care what anyone says or, or thinks. So three of cups in the 3D. That means in the 3D, this person, they've been wearing a mask. Notice the masquerade ball. Okay, they've been wearing a mask. Um, what I'm getting is like they're owning up to it. So I feel like maybe people can see it on them that like they love you or that they have feelings for you that, and I feel like people might be saying like, it's so obvious, like, you know, why don't you just go, go for it? Or maybe they're talking to people about it and they're taking off the mask about it. Like, like they're opening up more about it, but this is straight up a happy celebration, good times. This is togetherness. This is soulmates reuniting. It's soulmates reuniting. It's three of cups in the 3D. Holy whoa. Bottom of the deck is the lovers. There it is. In the 3D, they are coming forward to, to, to get their queen. Agape. There's no one else but you. I just need you now. They could be a little inebriated. I am going to be, right? Just, again, it's, it's a quarter after one. I'm a little drunk and I need you now. So, said I wouldn't call, but I lost all control, and I need you now. I'm getting chills all the way up my right leg. I'm not a singer, you guys, but that song is beautiful, you know? It's like, it's really how it is. They could call you late. Maybe they've had a few. Maybe that's like liquid courage for them. I'm getting like, I just want to get my foot through the door. I just miss them. I want to talk. I want to be back in their life. I miss talking to you. I miss being your friend. I miss, like they just, they miss like just being able to pick up the phone and call or text or, you know, whatever it is. The lovers and the three of cups. Yeah, and then there's the ace of pentacles. There it is, the medallion. Where'd it go? There it is. There it is. There it is. I need you now and I need you forever. You are my shining star. The scarab beetle is, you know, it's protective energy. It's abundant energy. It's, you know, there's different energies connected spiritually and metaphysically to the scarab beetle, okay? But this right here is great wealth, great abundance. Look, it's gold, gold. You see the medallion, okay? So they're coming in to uh, bring forth a solid new beginning between the two of you guys. Eight of pentacles, bottom of the deck. They're working on things in their lives. It's like, I want you to know, I'm putting in the work. I'm doing the work. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is a, an energy of setting the intention, looking to the future, planning, and then you go after it. You know what I mean? So they've been setting intention, but see how he's just like very focused and straight faced and there's all this like chaotic energy going on around him. That's the masculine. The masculine has karmic partners or people you know, just chaotic energy, people, whatever it is, it's just different stuff, right? But they are dead focused. They are laser focused on you and this. And look at, I was very drawn to the hands on all of these uh, other Oracle cards. And look at, look at the hands. He's coming forward to like, to grab your hand. Take my hand. Yeah, this person, they can feel it in every every fiber of their being that you're the one, you know? And it almost like it is this, I think that's why it's the alcohol is coming through or having, you know, a, <laughs> a drink or two before they reach out because this is so powerful and so big that it, it is it is kind of frightening, right, to... to and make that first initial move, but I just need you now. Like they just need you now. No more wasting time. Ten of Wands, releasing burdens. Okay, this is like how they feel right now in their life. All right, and this is like for me. It's like it's like they were on that boat with whatever was going on, people, karmic situations. They were on this boat, and they've been on the boat and in this storm and. <coughs> 
<clears throat> everything for a while. Wow. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, but it's just coming up like crazy, and I can feel it in my throat, too. They need to release what's in their heart to you. They need to release what's in their truth to you. They are feeling compelled to come forward and be the, their most authentic, honest, truthful self with you. This is something that they've never done before. They've never been so open. They've never been so like hell bent on someone in their life. They've been always able to release people, forget about people, move on from people. Not you, not you, not ever. Mm -mm. Okay. So they tie themselves to this thing and they just said, screw it. I'm out of here. And I don't care if it's a freaking shit storm. Like I can't take, I can't be on this boat anymore with everybody. All right. So they're going through losses, emotional losses, putting death to again, karmic situations, karmic patterns, things of that nature. But this right here is mourning. It's like they're grieving you. They, they feel like the loss of you in their life right now is literally like it's, 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 it's consuming them. Like they are sad. They want to be with you physically because they feel you so strong spiritually. Again, completely awoken. Like the lovers is like, you're my person. You're the love of my life. We belong together. It's that. Okay. Um, and then bottom of the deck is the death card and the chariot coming forward uh, to have a rebirth with nine of pentacles energy. Someone who is extremely intriguing to them. Someone who is successful abundant on their own like you are all the things you check all the boxes okay they're definitely going through a death of some kind of again partnership or a karmic energy so they can have a rebirth come forward um towards towards you okay um all right so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up oh you know what here i'm gonna use these twin flame affirmation cards <coughs> Now that I'm like wrapping up the message, I can feel it like starting to, to lift more. I saw a two, 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 two a few seconds ago. Two, two, two. All right, so I send love to everybody. And again, thank you for all of your love and support. If you guys want to, um, you know, if you want, if you're guided to get a reading with me, personal message, to hone in on your own twin flame journey, divine masculine, or just overall, just spiritual guidance. You can find everything down below. There are a few different options for, uh, for readings and for spiritual uh, sessions, okay? And I'm also hosting a 1010 portal activation and healing manifestation workshop on October 14th, which is a Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It will be recorded. It's held via Zoom. Um, but all of the information details, what it's all about is down below. This is very powerful, uh, activations. This is very powerful, helping to open you up, clear out blockages, uh, release, just release stagnant energy, stuck energies, different stuff, you guys. So if you feel called or like, Hmm, that sounds interesting. You can find all the info down below in the description box. Okay. All right. So show me from the twin flame affirmation Oracle. What is the affirmations for this connection at this time, whether it's twin flame or not? My twin flame and I are a power couple. Yes, your person is feeling this strongly, strongly. It's emperor and empress. Remember king and queen. You are equal to them. They've never been with anyone or have loved anyone or known anyone that they actually consider to be like equal to them, you know, a lot of them are like the breadwinner or they've always made more money than a, than a partner, or they're the one that's like the, 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 you know, the provider in a sense, or, you know, but for you, it's like, you have all that on your own. You don't need your masculine. You're not an opportunist. You're not a gold digger. You're not here to use. You literally just have unconditional love towards your divine masculine. And it's taken them some time to awaken and get to this point of realizing and healing and going, this person truly does just love me and wants me to be happy and wants the best for me. And I want that for them. 
My twin flame is now open about their feelings. Yes, yes. The rose, red roses, roses in general. Um, speaking of red roses, Mary Magdalene, sister of the rose, right? She is going to be with us um, that day for sure. Um, she's guiding me through a meditation with you guys to help a lot of things out for you. Um, but anyways, they are opening up. Yeah, two hearts coming together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My twin flame cares about me and shows me. Yes, indeed. Okay? So they're getting ready to show you to, to you're going to be able to, I mean, they're going to show you. They're showing up. They're going to show you exactly how they feel towards you. Plus, they're going to tell you. But it's like their, their, their words and their actions are aligned. Their words and their actions are, it's coming through strongly for both. My twin flame doesn't care what others think. That's exactly what I said earlier. Like, I channeled that out. Like, they're in a place now where it's like, they don't care. They don't care, you know. They do care, like, you know, about people and stuff. But they don't care about judgments, what other people think. Like, if they're, if they're leaving behind a karmic situation, let's say this karmic knows about you or the situation or they have a feeling that the masculine is going towards someone else, whatever it is. Um... The masculine may have held back previously, like, I can't, like, you know, end this and go for, like, they know, like, it was just kind of like a block, but now they don't care. I'm telling you, you guys, union is here. There it is. Union is here. Okay? You're about to be going out on date nights. And these kinds of connections are not about, literally, they're not so much focused, like, they're not about the romance and the, like, they are, but they're not. This is about... Like, so much more than that, right? But you guys are also human beings. We're, we're living still in a 3D world, right? So we're going to be doing 3D things with our twin, with our, with our soulmate, right? Our date nights are so blissful. So the masculines are fantasizing about this. Like, wine and dine, taking you out, showing you off is, is what keeps coming through in the last few readings. Like, they want to have you on their arm. They are proud of you. They are proud to be with you proud to, uh, and honored, honored is the word. They're honored to be with you. They're honored uh, and feel that it is a privilege to be in your presence, in your life, to be your your counterpart, all of that. But they also know that your guys is like togetherness, right? No matter what it is, date night, at home night, you know, whatever it is, that it'll always be blissful and easy flowing and fluid. Like, yeah, can you guys have like little, like, you know, little tiffs or get into like little disagreements? Sure, right? We're still human, but it's not anything like either one of you guys have ever been with before or experienced before. It's you guys talk things through. There's a reciprocity. There's a maturity. Um, and again, that deep, deep, profound love. O only we know the melody of our hearts. Look at the music. I just need you now. That is the melody. That is the tune that this heart is singing right now. I just need you now. And only me and you truly get that and we truly understand and feel it. Okay? My twin flame tells me I've always been worth the wait. Yeah. They're, they're coming in and they're just like, this is about divine timing. And I, I felt like we would end up together. There was this inner knowing that I had about us, about you. Like this wasn't really over. No matter what's been taking place in the 3D, you both have felt that this is not over, okay? They felt that too. Um, see, I'll wait for you, okay? <clears throat> it's because it's like they're in awe of you. You have not been waiting for anyone. You haven't put your life on hold and just been sitting hoping that someone reaches out, that they call. Mm-mm. You've been doing your thing. You've been living the Empress energy. You've been living Nine of Pentacles energy. But there's an appreciation and a gratitude towards you for what you've shown them, what you have mirrored to them and reflected back to them, for your patience, for your, um, for your love, for your openness, for your honesty. But there's also an energy here where they feel like, oh my gosh, like this is someone who you know, could have gone and been with anyone and instead they chose to heal themselves. I have so much respect for this person and I'm going to come in and I'm going to, and I'm going to like, we're both going to be feeling 
how worth the weight this was in the in the in the 3D. Let's get one more. My twin flame is so romantic. We've had past lives, yeah. Um, and then my twin flame always makes me feel cherished. Yes, yes, yes. They always want to make you feel so loved, so cherished. Um, they never want you to hurt. They never want to make you cry. Like it's all these things, right? Which with these types of connections, like that's how it is. It's not karmic. It's not you guys are pulling the worst out in each other, trying to heal karmic loops and cycles. This is divine love union, okay? So you get to actually experience this in real life. It's the love that everyone dreams of, that a lot of people don't even think is real or exists. It does. We've had past lives. They feel the past life energy so strong, and they truly do want to take you out. Again, wine and dine. Be romantic, bring you flowers, write you love letters, leave little love notes on your pillow, you know, when they wake up in the morning and maybe you're still asleep or things of that nature. This is someone who doesn't typically, like they're not overly romantic, you know, they've been with people and they do nice things, but they aren't, like they haven't gone, you know, they haven't ever felt like, oh, I want to do all of this for someone with you. They are fantasizing about it. They're dreaming about it. They're like, literally manifesting like oh my gosh like i can't wait to just love on this person and i want to bring them flowers and i want to do this and i want to show up for them and be there for them and all the things i'm going to show them how much i cherish and love them okay um so beautiful energy today you guys um again i send love to everybody thank you for all of your love and support here on the channel um let's just get one into it oracle whoops all right, to, to wrap this message up, please just give me a few cards to confirm this whole message. Please, Spirit, please and thank you, my beautiful benevolent guides. All right, here we go. It's the stallion breaking free. They are breaking free. Okay, they're feeling this wild fire energy, this wild passion energy, this like, all of a sudden, I can just do it. All of a sudden, I can just do whatever I need to do. Strong emotions, driving force, unbridled sexual energy, a lot of sexual energy. A lot of that unbridled, like, I'm just going to do it. I'm just, you know, they're busting out. They're, they're freeing themselves. Look at that. That's a fast stallion. That horse is running. Unleash the inner beast. Okay, and then the lighthouse. You have been a divine blessing and a guidance system guidance system. You have been the light that called forth the ship home. Okay. You are the light. You guys are lights to each other, but you were their guiding light and they're following the light. They're running towards the light. Safe passage. They feel it's a good time. Safe passage, obstacles, removing obstacles. You were a guiding light. Even while your masculine was going through obstacles even while your masculine was going through karmic loops with karmic partners, you were still this beacon, this beam of light in their life. And you kept lighting up the path and showing them the way. And they've been following and now they're here. Okay? The ships are arriving. The ship is coming in to dock, to harbor. Okay? Plot a course of action. Yep. And then use tact and diplomacy yes so they're coming in very um honorable very diplomatic very loving um they just know that you're someone who demands with respect and you won't you won't lower yourself okay for anybody and they know this and they admire it again you show them the way all right and you've shown them and reflected back to them hey i deserve I, I need to <clears throat> pour love into myself. I deserve happiness. I deserve to be lit up in my life too. Okay? So they're plotting a course of action, which is what I said. Let's get one more, please. Four and seven breaks down to master number 11. We do have the letter A on this card. Okay. All right, I'm hearing Anthony, Antonio, Adam. All right. And look at this, the fall full moon. We are in fall. We just recently, right, not too long ago, had the fall equinox. We literally just recently had the last super moon of 2023, which was the super moon 
um, full moon, uh, harvest moon, okay, harvest in Aries. And I said this this full moon, it, it it's whooping ass and it literally, it just forcefully, boom, like created all of the shifts and the change right along with everything else that's happening to uh, give these uh, runners um, the courage and bravery to take action, however it was, and it just accelerated it. Um, culmination of efforts. It's completion, abundance, fulfillment, a release, fruits of your labor. Focus on your needs. They're focusing on their needs. They're no longer putting everyone else first and not tiptoeing around and, oh, I don't want to rock the boat and I don't want to hurt anyone. Nope. They're like, I, I'm putting my needs first. You know, for, for the masculines, I'm getting like people around them and it's probably karmic partners that they're ending things with are calling them like arrogant and selfish and, you know, like heartless and things like that because of how abruptly or how they're just shutting down and how they're just handling business because that's what the guidance is to do. It's actually self-love. They're detaching from very dysfunctional, toxic patterns and relationships and ways of living and being, right? So just know that, right? But, you know, again, every time these energies come up around them or it just sends them back to you because they, they go, I, I don't want to deal with this. Like with my feminine, I would never be talked to like that. With my feminine, I would never have to worry about that. With my feminine, there's never going to be insecurity, jealousy, fights, like, you know, crazy shit, like just stuff like that. They know it. They know it. Um, so they're focusing on their needs. It is harvest time, my loves. It is reaping the what you have sown. It's harvest, okay? Fruits of your labors. Moving on, and yes, the time has come. Yep, they are moving on. They are moving on. The time has come, okay? Um, bottom of the deck is the albatross. They are releasing baggage burdens, okay? They're done feeling like their life is cursed. They're, again, they're they're like, I have, I'm the creator of my reality and my destiny and my life. Guilt, I'm, I'm done feeling guilty over wanting to be happy. I'm done feeling guilty over not, you know, releasing uh, karmic burdens and things like that because I don't want to hurt people. Like, I'm done with all that. I'm throwing that out the door. Sayonara. Shame and regret. They do have shame and regret around you around how they handle things or how they ghosted or whatever left you on red it could be anything um but there is a good omen here okay they're trying to stay very calm cool and collected and they want monogamy yeah definitely and then look at this you have horse energy back like not back to back but there it is the rider there it is i'm running fast towards my sunshine my happiness my my bliss my contentment okay um the writer is a messenger movement. A message arrives, travel, news, a visitor. They could just show up. They want to come see you. They want to visit you. They want to be around you, okay? Or they want they want to see you, all right? Green light, progress, and full speed ahead. Absolutely. Absolutely full speed ahead, okay? So have a beautiful rest of your day. I love you so much. Thank you again. Let me know in the comments how this was your message. How does it resonate with you? Can you feel it? Can you feel the energy? Like, heck yeah, I can feel it. I can so feel it. So anyways, I love you guys. Have a beautiful uh, day. Mwah. Bye.